Guys, welcome back to another match reaction. I've actually already recorded another gut reaction, which I'm going to play in a minute, but I wanted to add a caveat at the start because I'm very, very annoyed. Uh, I wanted to caveat that I genuinely did forget that United play three games in five days now. So one of the points I made is why I was frustrated about it was because we might have to play a strong team on Friday now, but that's probably very unlikely, admittedly. Still, I think I'm right when I play the video in a minute. I was right to be pissed off. Anyway, I'm still very annoyed, but here was my full-time reaction, and I was very, very, very pissed off. Uh, I'll be all right. I'm over it. I'm already calming down, but right on full-time, I was annoyed. Here's the clip. Guys, City have just lost against Chelsea 2-1, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really, 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 really pissed off about that performance. Um... You're probably going to say I'm overreacting, but I'm pissed off not because we lost. It's because of the manner of the loss and because what that loss now actually means. And I'm, I'm pissed off just because essentially we've just shot ourselves in the foot unnecessarily so. Um, and we've given... We're giving our opponents a big advantage now in Chelsea. Yes, the caveats are we are going to win the league. Obviously, we are going to win the league. It'll be fine. We'll get it wrapped up. But I'm pissed off for a myriad of reasons. Plenty of reasons. Um, and I'm mainly pissed off because of a lack of professionalism, if I'm being totally honest. Um, and you can tell me tell me that I'm overreacting. But look at Guardiola's face. Look how fuming he was. Look how embarrassed Aguero was sat on the bench as that second goal went in for Chelsea. And tell me that he wasn't absolutely mortified as well. Tell me that it didn't matter to those people. And they're frustrated a guarantee for the same reasons I am sometimes a moment right a little moment in football can cause a butterfly effect where it basically affects everything going forward. And this game genuinely hinged on that one moment where Guardiola, uh, he given uh, Aguero obviously a chance to impress today. Uh, and it hinged on one moment for Sergio Aguero. And I'll, I'll forgive him. I'll get over it. Of course, I love Sergio Aguero. But it hinged on one moment this game when Sergio stepped up with a penalty and he fucked about. Fanning about and he should have put that in the back of the net. Don't fucking do a Penenka when you're about to win the league. Just put the ball in the back of the net the only reason you do a penenka in that situation is because you want to show off and if you're showing off you're not thinking about the team you're thinking about yourself i will forgive sergio he doesn't need my forgiveness for what it's worth but i will forgive him because i love him and it mistakes so happen but anyway i guess the point i'm making is it's so annoying to lose when it's your own problem when you do it to yourself to quote radiohead you do it to yourself and that's what really hurts and that's what makes this so frustrating because sergio's fucking about genuinely being absolutely useless um and being selfish and it was a selfish decision and because then the second half we were really really poor as well and the momentum came back to chelsea now now we're gonna have to play a strong team again at some point to try and get the job done now it means we have to take other games seriously and now, Chelsea are closer to being in the top four, which means they'll be able to rest players come at the end of the season for the final. So we've made life easier for our Champions League opponents while also increasing the chances of one of our senior players getting injured towards the end of the season because we're going to have to play a strong team at some point to get the job done. We will get there, but I guess the point I'm making is that you don't fuck about when you've got a chance to be professional. Just get the job finished and then fuck about. Maybe at three or four, no, you can take a Penenka penalty, but not then. And I guess this is why Guardiola is annoying as well. We will get over this, and I will get over it personally. But right now, I'm just annoyed because I feel like we shot ourselves in the foot, on, shot ourselves in the feet unnecessarily. It didn't need to be that way today. And I'm not, I'm not one to overreact. You know, I'm not. I'm not one just to throw the toys out the pram. I'm all, I'm calm and measured. But that loss has really triggered me because it was unnecessary, and we did it to ourselves. And it was childish, and it was a stupid loss. Maybe there was one too many changes, but I guess the point the point is that uh, changes or not, if Aguero puts that penalty in and we defend a bit better in the second half, he puts that penalty and we probably win the game anyway, full stop. Um, so maybe there was too many changes, maybe there wasn't, but what I do know is that we wouldn't be discussing this or debating this um, uh, if Sergio put that penalty away. I'm very, very frustrated. Um, individually... Plenty of mistakes across the pitch. Ake played pretty well. He played all right. He played pretty well. Um, then kind of got caught a couple of times towards the end. Mendy could not keep up Reese James at all. Mendy, I like you, mate, but fucking hell. If someone keeps skinning you, stop getting tight to them. It's really that simple sometimes. It really is that simple. Uh, of course, the formation, the change of formation left the defence absolutely wide open. I thought Cancelo was pretty poor, actually, for someone who should be a right wing back. I thought he had a really poor game. Diaz, Laporte, Ake, they weren't bad individually. Collectively, they looked uh, like he lost a little bit of shape. Edison wasn't really too 
blame for any of their goals. Maybe it's a slightly stronger hand, but Ziyech absolutely walloped that first goal, and the second one he had no chance with. Rodri had an impossible job, really, of being the only midfielder. Uh, he was absolutely surrounded by Chelsea players, and Ferran Torres and Sterling Gart midfielders, they're not at all. Having said that, he was sloppy on the ball for their first goal. Poor, frustrating, but... He wasn't supported. I slightly let him off for it, but it was still frustrating. Um, Sterling had a ball game. Maybe it should have been a penalty on Sterling. I think it probably should have been a penalty on Sterling, but that still papered over the cracks. Would we have fucking scored it anyway? Probably not, let's be honest. Um, but Sterling, pretty poor game. Ferran Torres, yeah, pretty poor game. Gabriel Jesus worked pretty hard. Sergio... I'm going back to Sergio again, and the reason I'm annoyed about Sergio is because we saw his character today, like what where his head's at currently. I love Sergio, but even that, even when he was moaning to Sterling, who just scored a goal, by the way, Sterling had just scored. Yeah, all Sergio was doing was moaning at Sterling for taking the shot off him. Fuck you, man. I'm sorry. I love you, Sergio, but don't moan about a colleague scoring a goal. Be happy for them. And I, the reason I'm getting annoyed at him is the way that you get annoyed at family, because when a family member lets you down, you're more disappointed because you care about them. And I'm disappointed with Sergio because he was thinking about himself and he made that clear he made that clear when, when he moaned at Sterling he made it clear and then when he took the Penanka don't think about yourself and I guess I guess the reason I'm so angry by the way right now is because I know right now Sergio's probably robbed himself robbed himself and I, it breaks my heart robbed himself of a chance to play in the Champions League final I guarantee you that has absolutely infuriated Guardiola of course it has. You could see his face. He was absolutely livid. He was livid in the second half when it started. And I guarantee you now, Guardiola's not going to trust him in the final. I, maybe I'm wrong there, but he won't do. He'll turn around and go, how can we trust this guy not to think of himself in the final and take on a shot when he should pass it because he wants to go out on a legacy? This is what Guardiola will be saying now. And because of that, Sergio's potentially robbed himself for a place in the final as well, even as a substitute. It's so frustrating because it didn't have to be that way. And these little, this is what I'm on about with little moments. And you can turn around and go, oh, it's not a big deal. We'll win the Premier League. But these little moments, they affect everything else. They affect Sergio's chance of playing the final. They affect maybe one of his teammates. Maybe we have to play a stronger team now against Newcastle just to get the job done. And what if someone like Phil Foden picks up an injury when he shouldn't be playing full stop or Gundogan does? That is what I'm on about. These little moments are necessary. And now Chelsea will probably get top four and they can rest a few players. I will get over this. Of course I will do. And I'll be fine when we win the league and stuff. But right now, I'm annoyed. And I don't think I'm overreacting. I've got every right to be annoyed because we fucked about. Be professional. Get the job done. And maybe Guardiola as well made too many changes. Maybe it was a case today that we had to get the job done. Maybe he did. I don't know. I would not be surprised if some players are just were rested today because they've got so many kicks and bruises from the PSG game as well. I wouldn't be surprised if that came into it. Um, but we, we had enough actually out there. That's the one thing that really pisses me off. And and I guarantee you, uh, Tuchel will be saying, would have been saying at half time when, when, when Sergio missed that penalty, he would have been saying, look, they fucked about there. Um, this is your chance now to go and get the job finished and show them actually you can turn it around. I guarantee you the conversation for Tuchel would have been totally different at half time if it was 2 0. So we give them a chance to get back into it. And that's why I'm annoyed. An absolutely piss poor, pathetic display with some stupid individual moments that have cost us. And it's stupid because it's so out of character for Manchester City. It was unprofessional. Don't be unprofessional. I can take a bad performance, but I can't take it when it's unprofessional. And for some players today, well, one player in particular, unfortunately, and the man we most love, that was his day. I'll let him off. And I'm not trying to make this about Sergio, but we can't ignore the elephant in the room, unfortunately. It was that miss, unfortunately. That was the ultimate factor in what's caused this game to um, go against us. Either way, we've messed it up today. We've given Chelsea a chance now to make a, an easier run. I'm looking at the Premier League table now. If Chelsea had lost today... Chelsea had to take it more seriously. They had to take it more seriously. Um, we didn't need to give them that chance, man. We didn't need to give them that chance. Didn't need it. Uh, no, Chelsea got more points than that, I think. Either way, uh, it's it's just a frustrating game of football. We will win the league, of course. Uh, but Guardiola, I, I presume, will be very annoyed tonight. And I don't think we're overreacting. City fans are frustrated right now. I love you, Sergio. But that was a shambles, shambles of a moment. Don't fuck about Get the job done and then fuck about if you want to. For now, though, uh, we've cost ourselves to win the league today. And that's what really, really annoys me. And we cost ourselves potential resting players. And we cost ourselves... Uh, we put ourselves... We've given ourselves risks that didn't need to be there. We're going to win the league, obviously. But don't take risks. You don't have to take risks. That's what really, really, really pisses me off. Um, I love this team and we'll be okay. Um, 
But it, it does it it does get annoying when mistakes are avoidable, and they, they were very very avoidable today. Uh, like I don't trust Sergio now. I don't trust where his head's at, and, I, and not in a bad way. I just think he's looking for himself because he wants that big moment because his ego's got to him a little bit. And I understand why. Maybe that would happen to me if I was in that situation. I'm not saying he's a bad person for it, but I guess the point I'm making is like. Don't make it so you, you, your fans and your manager can't trust you to not think about yourself in the big moment. Because if he's going through and goal now, Guardiola will be thinking, if he goes through and goal and he's got um, Sterling running alongside him, is he actually going to pass it or does he want to score the winning goal himself? And what if he misses and just unpass it? And like Guardiola will be thinking that now. You'll be thinking, can I trust him to play him in the final as a substitute? That's terrible. It's terrible that we have to even ask that question now. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you Guardiola will be asking that question. City was lost today. It's not the end of the world. It isn't the end of the world. Of course it isn't. But it's annoying, annoying pain. It's a, oh, it's a very annoying uh, little setback. Uh, brief one, sure, but it's an unnecessary one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll be all right tomorrow. I'll be back for the five things learned tomorrow um, and we'll get over it. I'm sure we will do. For now though, I'm going to fume. I'm going to fume and wind down. Uh, thank you to the Patreon producers, Ahmed Alali and William Pritchard. Thank you to everyone supporting the channel. Football, eh? Drives you mad sometimes. I'll get over it. Um, I'll be okay in 20 minutes, probably. But right now, I'm in a bad mood. Uh, love you all loads. You're all awesome. We'll be fine. The, the sun will rise tomorrow and all that kind of stuff. See you in a bit.